got some bad news. It broke. I'm binging on Skittles because I'm depressed. All right, so um, I'm tasting the rainbow. Okay. <clears throat> I saw what's going on with the car, you asked? Um, I don't know either. Essentially, I drove it the other night, and or actually, I drove it the other day, and it worked great. Everything's driving great. Exhaust is making loud noises. Suspension is suspensioning. I started to notice like a, a rattle coming from the back, and I'm not sure what. I thought I figured there was just like a bolt that loosened up on the exhaust uh, brackets or something like that. That's my first thought. But when I got home and jacked the car up and torqued all the bolts down, everything was fine and tight, and I realized that the noise was coming from. The transmission actually took a video of it sent it out to a few people I went back to anderson's to have frank he happened to be there late that night he put a stethoscope kind of on the transmission case and confirmed that the noises are coming from inside the transmission somewhere that is not good news it's chattering really bad i'll insert a video here all I know so far um, I push in the clutch and the chatter stops but I've learned that when you push in the clutch it essentially the transmission stops spinning when it's in neutral the transmission gears are spinning so that chatter is happening uh, which could be a sign that it is inside the actual case and not in the, like the bell housing sorry I'm about to bring the car over to auto edge again and uh, see and drop it off there and have them take a look at it. All right, off we go to Auto Edge to drop off the car. Uh, car is working, but there are definitely noises coming out of the transmission. Uh, I'll be very curious to figure out what this is. I know some of you are probably interested as well. Maybe you've experienced some of this in the past, and if you have, definitely drop a comment below and uh, tell, me, tell me your story. I know this car. This guy's in the Porsche Club with us. Taking some photos of this guy at the track. This guy goes full send on this 911. It's a good car. Okay, so it's been determined. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here for the night and uh, potentially the rest of the week because on Wednesday, it's Monday today. On Wednesday, I go on Crown Rally uh, for the rest of the week, so they're going to check it out today and tomorrow and uh, do a fluid change in the transmission and see if there's any metal shavings in that fluid. It hasn't been changed since I've owned it. Um, there could be, you know, if it's just old and running thin, it could be the issue. Uh, but it certainly will lead to more answers uh, by checking that fluid out before we pull the transmission off or anything like that. So that's what they're gonna do, change the fluid, and then uh, I'm gone all week, so they'll have it to, to mess around with. Goodbye, car. Hopefully it's nothing major, and uh, the guys at Auto Edge are gonna figure it out, so that's what we're doing. Transmission's out. Right here. Uh, there's a little leak in the RMS, which is why all this is all dirty. That's good to have fixed, which we're gonna do. And here's the new flywheel and clutch right there. They figured out that the flywheel is the problem with that chatter. So this one's all stiff, and this one, the new one has play, which it's supposed to. And the springs or whatever in there is ruined or old or snapped or whatever, so. It's a new flywheel for this car, and that's gonna be a good day for the car because it's gonna have a nice new, nice new setup inside the bell housing, so it's just gonna drive great.
And here's the Valtronic out again. You know, we worked really hard to get that in. Yeah. Now it's here on the ground again. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, this is, uh, this is the current status of it, and they're gonna get it back together, and it's gonna drive great. So that's what we know. We'll get it back in a couple of days, and then we'll be back to making videos about the loud exhaust, so. Everybody, the car is home. Okay, so what was making the noise, that chattery noise in the back of this car in the transmission area? First did the uh, transmission fluid. Uh, that tells us a lot about what could be happening if there was metal shavings in that, uh, in that fluid or if it smelled really weird, um, that could be a sign of a bearing problem. But obviously, if there's metal shavings in there, that means the gears are getting wrecked. Um, and something's really wrong. Uh, but thankfully that was, uh, the fluid was super clean and nothing looked wrong there. So the next step was to take off the transmission and see if it's in the bell housing. And as soon as they took off the transmission, they looked at the flywheel and clutch and immediately could tell me that something was wrong with the flywheel. So the flywheel is a dual mass flywheel. There's a little bit of movement that allows that the dual mass to do its thing. I don't know how fully it works, but it, uh, it wasn't, it didn't have any flexibility in it. It was basically solid, like as if it was a single mass flywheel, which would chatter and make that noise and kind of throw off the balance that the transmission is used to. So that was what the issue was. Um, and since we were in there, um, they also replaced the clutch. So let me go through the list. They did the clutch kit, uh, the pressure plate bolt, the flywheel bolt, the crankshaft seal, um, dual mass flywheel. So everything in there is looking good. There was a tiny like very periodic leak I think coming from the RMS. So there's a little bit of dirtiness that kind of like dribbled down near the IMS uh, area there. Uh, an obvious uh, replacement there. So no big deal. That was uh, to get that replaced and do it while the transmission was already off. I just drove it home 20 miles, whatever. And uh, everything seems great. It's so smooth with a new clutch. It feels so brand like brand new car. And I couldn't be more happy that uh, we got this figured out and that there's no more chatter. So everything breaks eventually and you have to fix it. And when it comes to maintenance items and wearable items like this, I was happy we uh, figured out what it was and got it taken care of. And now it's running better than ever. All right, that is all we have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please uh, consider subscribing for more videos about the Cayman and my photography adventures and whatever. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.